Hi, hopefully you've just received one of my um, refurbished Olympus Trip 35 cameras that's been cleaned and um, restored to its former glory and covered in some nice leather. Um, this little uh, video is just an, in, an, in, an instruction video about how to put your roll of film into the camera. Some people have contact me, so, contacted me saying they've had problems and the camera won't wind on. So here, here's the uh, a quick and easy guide. Just uh, pull the catch down here open the film door. Uh, just push up the little spool there and take your film, put it in that side of the camera, pull the, push that down and then pull the film across and tuck the film leader into one of these slots on the other side there. Try and make sure to to engage the film in these sprockets here, these teeth that are going to pull the film across as you take pictures. Uh, if you get the camera and you find that you can't take a picture because the um, the um, film advance wheel here won't move, it's because it's already cocked, ready to take a picture. So all you have to do is just take a blank frame and carry on winding, just making sure that the film is engaged in these sprocket holes there. Close the film door, like so, and take another blank frame, wind it on, and just make sure that the film is turning as you advance to frame number one. You can see here that the film is turning because the other, it's, come, it's pulling it across out of the cassette there. So that's your camera loaded, ready to go. If you find that you can't take a picture because the red flag's popping up in the window here, it means that you're in a, a dark environment and your camera is still set to automatic. So the easiest way around that is to just turn it to a manual aperture setting 2.8, which we'll do, and just repeat, just do what I've shown you, just carry on, just take a couple of pictures, wind on until you get to number one in here. Remember to put this setting back to automatic for when you're shooting outside though. The other thing to remember is just have a look at what film speed you're, you've loaded into the camera. If it's 100 ASA or 200 ASA, make sure that you've correctly set the corresponding ASA rating here on the dial. If it's If it should be 100 ASA, turn it back to 100 there or up to 200 and that's about it for your loading your film it's ready to shoot go and have some fun just remember as well that you've got four focusing points on the camera that are preset you've got one for infinity for taking your landscape pictures one for group shots uh, another one for half body shots close-up pictures of a, of a couple of people and finally a, a close-up headshot or half body shot of a single person and that's about it. You're ready to go and have some fun with these great little cameras. Um, so some people have contacted me saying um, they've struggled to get the film out of the camera. It's dead easy. Once you get to the end of the roll of film, you won't be able to wind on any, any further. It just won't let you. So once you've, done, once you've got to the end of the roll of film, push the black button there underneath, lift out the arm on the spool there, and just start to slowly, gently pull the film, wind the film back into its cassette. You'll feel resistance and then all of a sudden you'll hear a click and the film has come out of its slot here and left you with the leader sticking out of the cassette there ready to take to your photo processing shop to go and get your film developed. So I hope that's been useful. Um, there's not a lot to these cameras, they're really simple design very easy to use no batteries obviously and just a great all-round little camera uh, go and have some fun with them and th thanks for watching